you know, Lord Jamar is a regular guest on the show. And, uh, you know, he's not a, a, the biggest Eminem fan. Eminem actually even called him out on his last album. Okay. You heard that? No, I didn't hear that line. You hear the, the Lord Jamar line? No, what do you say? The Lord Jamar Eminem conversation started at Vlad TV, right? And what, what Jamar brought up, which I actually agreed with, was that... Just like in Eminem, we had a lot of people talking about, is Eminem a guest in the house of hip hop? You're motherfucking right he is. Just because he sold the most records and all of that, like... <laughs> Which I have no problem with. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm a high set. That shit took me there, man. <laughs> Go ahead, though. <laughs> And, you know, we've had these conversations over time. And then, you know, like when Royce, when Royce would come on Vlad TV, we would <laughs> discuss it guess, in guess the, the house of hip-hop. Hip so Eminem on the song Fall, on Damn. his last album, said, and as far as Lord Jamar, you better leave me the hell alone or I'll show you an Elvis clone. Walk up in this house you own, thrust my pelvic bone, use your telephone and go fetch the remote, put my feet up and make myself at home. I belong here, clown. Don't tell me about the culture. I inspired the Hobsons, the Logics, the Coles, the Shans, the K-Dots, the Five Nines. No. Brought the roll of 50 Cent. You did squat, piss, and moan. But I'm not going to fall, bitch. Damn. <clears throat> he must have he must have pissed Big Bro off, man. <laughs> what, else, what else Jamal say, though? Like, I mean... I mean, he basically said that... But listen, though. This is my thing. This is my yeah. thing. You know what I'm saying? What's wrong with Lord Jamar saying that? Nothing. Or feeling like that. No. He just said to, to black people, the type of black people he fucks with, they don't put Eminem as their favorite rapper. In the white world, oh my God, Eminem destroyed Lord Jamar with this little verse. In the black world, no one even heard that shit. No one even heard it. No one came up to me like, oh my God, did you hear what Eminem said about you? It ain't nothing like how Meek was going through with back to back, how he had to walk in the clubs and hear back to back. Not one club played that fucking bullshit, whatever the fuck that shit's called, fall or whatever. Not one. Not one. They're playing fucking Lil Wayne shit up and down right now. In black America, that album meant something. In black America, Eminem's album meant nothing. And that's my point. That's my point. That it's two different worlds we live in. In that world, Eminem's the shit. In our world, he's nothing. I agree. He and puts, I'm sure. He puts Nas and Jay-Z up there, but not Eminem. He, he admits it. And he's I here. agree. I'm from the hood, and I'm in the hood. There and you nigg go. And niggas don't. There's nobody in the hood that's riding around to an Eminem album. That's just fact. That, that's what he's saying. And I'm sure Eminem know that. You know what I'm saying? He okay with that. Yeah. I mean, and, but my thing is this, though. Like, when people have an opinion or, or they feel how they feel about some shit in hip-hop, I, hip-hop is the only shit where you can't really say how you feel. And it's okay. Like, now it's like, these interviews and this shit being highlighted and brought up on these blogs and this and that. It's just a big thing. Oh, what did Jimmy, you heard what Jim, Lord Jamar said about Eminem? And this is what Eminem said this back in return. What do right. you think about that? Like, I don't I don't mind nobody having an opinion. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind nobody having an opinion. But what Lord Jamar was saying was facts and what Eminem was saying is his is, is rebuttal is facts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Eminem is very for the culture. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he did what can't too many people say he did. Shit. Blew up, put his homeboys on first. Mm -hmm. Then <laughs> reached out, went and got 50 out the hood, out the slums and whatever. You know what I'm saying? Went and shit. Look at us. We're <laughs> from Buffalo. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Nobody never made it. Like, how? Look at Royce and them niggas. The shit he rapping, as lyrical as he is, he ain't. A, he's a student of the game. It's like, yeah. he did do shit. Like, that's why Eminem can be on BET, MTV, all that shit in one. Like, and it's looked at and regarded as like the majority is going to say, nigga, Eminem is that boy. But there's guys who is really in the trenches and living a different life that can't relate to 
Right. My mom was on pills. I'm an addict. I'm this. I'm Trailer that. Parks. I'm my wife. And, yeah. You know what I mean? I, I slapped my wife and this, that, and this. <laughs> a lot of people can't relate and don't want to hear that. Yeah, they want to hear my mom, about they struggle shit, and what yeah. they can relate to. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Niggas don't want to hear my shit. Niggas don't want to hear about j- shooters running through the shortcut, Jack Boy kicking your door down, smacking you with well, a right. pistol. I mean, it's, it's kind of what you said that when you guys signed to Eminem, you got a bunch of these Eminem fans who had no idea which no idea. Who, who you are, right? Or and they listen to your shit and like, yo, this wasn't what we signed up for. Like we right. we, we wanted a, we wanted some M and M's. Like <laughs> yeah, and they got y'all. Same, same. It's the same type of thing. I think that's the point that that Jamar made, mm-hmm. and, and I appreciate Eminem's response. Mm-hmm. You know, because ultimately this all came from Eminem. Ain't talking no wreck. He ain't ducking no smoke. So nah. like, he gonna light your ass up. You you're entitled to speak your mind, but. <laughs> Just be prepared for, you know, he definitely going to speak his mind. Right. 